Hey everybody, it's Professor Williams and today we're going to hypothesis test a proportion. We're going to use a critical value approach but we're going to let Minitab help us. A researcher claims that at least 67% of Canadian geese in his region fly south for the winter. He randomly selects 65 geese during the summer and finds that 45 of them fly south in the winter. If we set our alpha at 0.05, is the scientist or researcher's belief warranted? So even though we're going to use Minitab, we're still going to go ahead and get our information together out of our question. So we selected a sample size of 65, and out of those 65, 45 of them had the characteristic we wanted. In other words, they flew south for the winter. That's our value of x. And the presumed value of the population proportion is 67%. So we're going to set up our HO and HA. So the assumed or presumed value of the proportion is 67%. And now we need a direction for our test. So the researcher claims that at least 67%, and that indicates to us a greater than or equal to. So greater than or equal to in the null, HO and HA are mathematical opposites that makes this less than. And I knew to put that greater than or equal to up here in my null because it had an equal to sign and we know there's never an equal to or any version of the equal to sign in an alternative hypothesis. So now I'm over here in Minitab and we're going to go to Stat, Basic Statistics and we're going to test for one proportion. So we have summarized data and what Minitab wants to know is the number of events. That's our value of x, and that was 45. Out of our number of trials, or n, was 65. We want to perform the hypothesis test, and the hypothesized proportion was 67%. Now in options, we have our confidence level of 95%. We know that that is 95 because alpha was 0.05. Confidence level plus alpha equals 1. Now we have to select the sign for our, our alternative hypothesis, and that was a less than sign. Remember, for our method, we're going to use normal approximation. I'm going to hit OK and OK. What Minitab has given us is it's given us, of course, um, all of our descriptive statistics, but what we're interested in down here is where we ran our test of the null at 67% alternative at less than, and what we're after is this z value right here. So our z value is 0.38, and we're going to go ahead and use that and finish up this test. So if we're using a critical value approach, we have to have the critical value for a one-tailed left test at alpha of 0.05, and we know that because we use normal approximation, we're going to use a z-score for that. And the standard value for a one-tailed left test at alpha of 0.05 is a negative, negative 1.645. So now we have our critical value. Minitab calculated our test statistic for us, and we can finish up. So here's our critical value for our left tail test, and we know that the rejection region is going to fall in this tail of the curve. So we would have needed a test value that is more extreme than our negative 1.645 because this is the rejection region of the curve. If my calculated test statistic falls somewhere here, then our decision is do not reject HO. Our calculated st test statistic from Minitab was 0.38 and we know that that falls somewhere over here. And so looking at our curve, at our test statistic relative to our critical value, then we can make our decision. And our decision at this point is do not reject HO. There is sufficient evidence to support the researcher's claim that at least 67% of geese fly south to the, for the winter. As always, I hope that you found this useful, and thanks for watching.